baby. And I looked after you in care as you grew up until you became an adolescent. You lived upon what I worked for and strived and sacrificed in my body and time and wealth. So that you may live healthy. Whenever a night passed you, when you were sick or ill or coughed, I was the first to be up, carrying you and looking upon you with my heart, afraid if an atom or a little breeze would harm you in any way. I could not sleep while seeing you sick until you slept and then I slept. Who has the most right for my ultimate companionship and goodness? Your mother, your mother, your mother and then your father. If you behave rudely, harshly, incorrectly towards your parents, stubborn, arrogant, rude, foul mouth towards them, don't be surprised tomorrow that when your kids grow up and they behave exactly like that towards you, then that time you're gonna sit and reflect, you know, damn hell, that's exactly the same way I used to speak to my father. I don't even need to stand here and tell you from Quran and Sunnah. Because the fact is, they're your parents, regardless of what Allah has said, regardless of what Rasulullah said, you must love them. There is no excuse. Why should somebody have to tell you that Allah has commanded you to love your parents? What are you so stupid that you can't even see that these people are to be respected? You only came to dunya because of these people. And what have you forgotten? The times when you were young and you were children, every time that they picked you up when you cried, every time they fed you when you were hungry, every time when you would excrete, that do we have to remind you that Allah has said something about this? That you and I don't have enough common sense to remember that these people should be loved. And some brothers and sisters can't even make dua for their parents. We have that luxury, dear brothers and sisters. Hold on to your parents for as long as you can because one day you will be burying them and on that day you will regret. My parents are not Muslim. My wife is in the audience. And she... She knows how much I love my parents. And my parents love me. Every day, my dad says to me, he loves me. Many of us don't even have this as Muslims. But if my dad dies like this, where is he going to go? You can pray for your parents. I can't pray for my dad when he dies. This is the reality, brothers and sisters. This is the reality. Don't underestimate the blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Don't make it too late, brothers and sisters. Don't make it too late.